we are indigenously developing solutions across the uh, country and uh, we build uh, one of the largest network for uh, Indian railways for uh, monitoring something like 8,000 railway stations data and we are uh, collecting that data 24 by 7 and uh, helping the railways to uh, prevent accidents and identify the root causes for the accidents and we reduced a lot of accidents. The entire technology is built by us indigenously from last 20 years. That technology is now used to smart cities. So in that uh, we build already some solutions like uh, water management and then now weather monitoring and then light control and various solutions in that way. So this is a basically we are now trying to create a more value to the customer. End of the day the value to the customer is most important. The total benefits divided by the total cost which is in total cost management. That's where we know what are the challenges in India, especially India is a country where it is a hot country majority of the time. We will be able to build the solutions for Indian conditions. Similarly, Indian people mentality and uh, the culture and how the managers work and the, how the employees work, with all that we taken into consideration and build the solutions so that uh, the technology will end of the day will give some benefit to the society. Smart city side, we think uh, end customer is the citizens. So the citizen should get benefited. For example, when we talk about smart water, the right quantity of water is given to the each uh, household, or the quality of water is there. At the same time, municipality will point of view whether the cost for making that distributing of the water should be less and it should be available. So these are the, it should be manageable in the sense that means the top management to the bottom, whether they are all working in tandem to deliver the value. Technological expertise that already we are able to achieve from a large number. Same time domain expertise. Suppose if you are talking about water management, so how the water gets distributed, how the pipes will work, that is how the water functionality, that means the pumping station to the reservoirs and how they are the, uh, the entire network works. The understanding of the fluid mechanics, hydraulics, and then uh, how really the end of the day all this matters. That also we should understand and combine technology with the management and finally to create better solutions to the system.